Buckeyes will get a chance. Ibuka straight ahead with running room. Looking for a block. Ibuka still on his feet. Oh, he had it stripped. Loose. One with Ryan Day, but they've both gone down and grabbed some great talent out of Southern California. Ibuka with the return. And Ibuka, another good one as he gets all the way up to the 35. That, that Bananas Foster was blazing, too. That was Our pretty good. Our friends at Hyde Park took care of us. Here's Ibuka, two yards deep. Uh-oh. Wonderful return. Back by an Ohio State staff member before deciding he didn't want to play after all. Went to the sideline and threw his gloves into the stands. And now here's a Mecca Ibuka. Inside the five and shoved out at the two. Not enough in the tank to get to the end zone. On the pass from Kyle McCord. Well, that feels a little better for Kyle McCord, doesn't it? <laughs> After that last drive. Ibuka, the number one wide receiver in this year's class. Ibuka. Ibuka. Ameka. Ibuka. Streaking down the sideline. And upended. Boy, was he level. Number one receiver a season ago. I'm still a Washington. Five-star kid. He's averaged about 35 yards per kickoff return. He's learning from the very best in his craft at the position. And I love the willingness to do this kickoff return. And you're right, a shot at the end of it. Well, that's the case. And that was the case in the first 30 minutes, no question about it. Abuka will bring it out again. Had a return of over 60 yards earlier in the first half. Not showing up today. This is a batter team. Matchup wise on the back end of their secondary. Jared will make a lot of plays for Maryland over the years. Abuka down the sideline. Another good return. Boy, he has made a name for himself today in special teams. Dante Dimas and Jayshon Jones had to leave the game today on the second play. Second half of the season after the bye. McCord. Underneath, Abuka, first down, he is met and dropped. Abuka is deep. He fields it at the 20-yard line. And he's got some running room. Into Indiana territory, still going. And finally tackled. Quarterback's eyes, and Coach Wilson sees things through a lineman's eyes, and they are quite the pair, partner. You have to be good enough, and it feels like Ohio State is starting to become good enough defensively to complement this high-powered offense. Miller with a completion. Abuka is free. They do it again, yet they understood this would be the toughest challenge of this upset-seeking team. This is Abuka on the return. And he maintains his footing. Whether it's Haskins or Fields or what he has this year. Strad doing what he loves to do. It's a beautiful downfield throw. He just dropped it into a Mecca wow. Abuka. Wow, what a throw. Catch. The right foot is still down. That is a catch by the young man. Wow. Just his toe, yeah. I, I mean, the awareness. But Washington and Jefferson played in the Rose Bowl. How about that? I do not know that. Abuka to make a contribution as a returner. He's dangerous and he gets ahead of steam, and that's the first time they make a productive return. Just couldn't do it. Made it an easy throw. And fast. And they pitch it on the far side. Abuka makes the catch. He gets around the quarter. To allow him to come back to the outside away from the defender, and now he's got a chance to do something after the catch. Moment for Utah. A couple of penalties aided it in Ohio State. P.I. has been a 57 yard drive, and when all appeared to be lost. Bryson Barnes drove them down the field and got him even. But here comes Ohio State. Look out. Nabuka 